Hmm. Hmm. Ah, there we go. I'm a toasty roasty roaster who roasts the toast, make toasty roasts. In goes bread, out pops toast. That's how toaster roasts. Kon pan wa. Hello, breadcrumbs, and welcome to Loop Hero. Toast Hero. Loop Toaster. Kon pan wa, kon pan wa. Hmm. Can, can you guys hear the game audio? Hold on. Uh, how, how's the audio from the game? Is that... Is that fine? Or is it too loud? Alright. Hmm. Okay, let me... That nah, should be fine. We'll probably find a way to increase it a bit. No, 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 no. Cool. Alright. So... Uh... Man. During my debut stream, I was not expecting there to be as many people as there were. Uh... That was... It actually, like, made me less nervous when there were more people because, like... No, if there's not a lot of people there, then it kind of feels like you're talking to nobody in general, right? But if there are uh, more people there, then... Then it feels a lot... It feels a lot more like people are watching you and that makes, that, that makes me more excited. Hmm. Hold on. Let let me get my. Uh, I need I need something to I need something to sit on. All right, here we go. Here's my stool, and I am behind my stool, and now I am in front of my stool. Also, my life 2D seems to be slightly broken right now. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. Hello, hello. Alright, so this is Loop Hero. It's a game that I've been seeing some people talk about on Twitter. Um, it seems like the kind of game that I would like, so that's why I wanted to try it out for this stream. Uh, I haven't played it yet, so we'll start off by looking at the options. And actually, the first thing I've noticed is that in the upper right corner, there's all of these... All of these are the flag icons, and this is the localization. I guess you can click on them just to change the language, which is very nice, because... No, like other games, they have language options, but if your game is in the wrong language and you have to be able to find the settings button and then like dig down and find, you know, like the language setting, even though it's all in the wrong language already, so you have no idea what everything says and you just have to find the language. But having the language setting right on the main menu is something that's very nice that this game has done. Poster, what are policies on spoilers or backseating for future reference? Uh, I would prefer if you don't backseat, at least for this game. Because mm. one thing I do want to show is how I approach a new game using my uh, 1000 IQ toaster powers. High res font. Hmm, this should be fine. Have I done well with my daily toaster propaganda posts? Wait, you're you've been posting a bunch of a bunch of toaster prayer posts in the arcade public Discord every day, right? Yeah, I've I've seen those. <laughs> yes, thank you for praying to the toast god of toasters every single day. I appreciate it. Mm. All right, let's get started. The stars in the sky are going out, one by one. But no one notices it. 
No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before... Before it is too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed even if the memory... Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. The darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. To change between adventure and planning mode, press the switch, right click or space. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Do -do -do -do. Hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall. If such thing as a night stove exists without a sky, of course. Pay attention to the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. A living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. The player can't affect them directly. So, from what I've seen of this game, the way it works is that you have your hero, which is this little white dude on the screen, and basically they just walk around in a circle continuously. And sometimes monsters will spawn, I think, and when you beat the monsters up, they drop these cards that you can use to put on the field and like build up the world, and then those cards do things that help you get stronger or faster. So that's what I've gathered about how this game works in like the five minutes of gameplay I've seen of it. Toaster don't even got hands. How do they type? Uh, using using psychic powers. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. You have an inventory and an item slot. You know what to do. Yes, I do. I must equip this sword and use it to beat up the monsters. I think I remember that there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories or do they belong to that slime? And use cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Yep. Okay. This tutorial, I have to put it there. Good. Now continue your journey. It's hard to fight with your bare plug prongs, but plug prongs are super pointy and dangerous. Flashy slash. Flashy slash. Forest rat wolf. <laughs> you know how in RPGs, like the first monster you fight is always either a wolf or a giant rat? Well, I guess this is both of them combined. <laughs> I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Won't be forgotten? Don't you mean remembered? Or remembered as a bad. Damn, it's good that nobody is listening. You can get some new items and cards during battle. Yes. Some items have unique abilities. Let's see most of the cards. Hover over a card to look at what it does. On the right side. Equip a new weapon and place a new card on the map to continue. Okay, ritual sword. 3 to 5 damage, but it has magic damage. Okay, game. Guess I equipped that and it deleted my old weapon. Okay. That's important. Put a new weapon and place a new card on the map. Plus one, a thick forest. Plus one percent hero attack speed. Mm hmm. Plus one percent hero attack speed. Does it just give me attack speed by existing? Hmm. I wonder. Rock. Its magnificent appearance gives you strength. Yes. Yeah, so whenever I look at rocks, it also makes me stronger. That's why I have rocks all over my desk right now. No, I don't. Plus 2 HP. Plus 2 HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. Okay, so I have to put all the rocks in the... All, 
next to each other. Not that's easy. Great, so there's a mountain over there and here is a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Interesting. <laughs> He's there recreating the world? Some of your actions will yield resources that you will need later on, but not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Okay. Show high resources. I have a rock and some wood. A log that somehow managed to keep its structural integrity despite the general chaos. Despite the shapelessness of the world? Hmm. Yes, looking at rocks. Yeah, you know, when, when you're hurt, you... You go and find a rock outside, and you apply it vigorously to your wounds. That's how you heal, right? <laughs> walkie walk. Walkie walk. Oh my god, this pixel man's walking animation is so funny. I think it's time to get some rest. The game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Yeah, only you will decide when it's time for... Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. But that slime I fought didn't have any fangs and claws. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. Return to the camp. Auto return by the campfire. Does it just teleport me back? Wait. No, I am at the camp right now. The pixel man looks like he's holding a toaster. Yeah, the sword is actually a toaster. The thought of leaving behind the battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed through your mind. What a timely idea! The camp is just around the corner. Retreat, you keep all your resources. You will lose nothing. Okay. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both these problems. Nice place to set up camp. Yes, this dark black screen is a perfect place to set up camp. This is when all resources you've gathered will come in handy. Who would have thought? Okay, I get to build stuff. And there's a tech tree. I've seen this tech tree in the screenshots. Intel Center. <laughs> Got all these other things. Well, I guess the Intel Center doesn't have to be technologically advanced. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this toaster. Yeah, where's the where's the, the, the toaster crafting area? I guess that would be the smithy, right? Because you gotta shape metal into a toaster hole, maybe? Campfire. Well... Place a campfire. I have to place it in the middle. This is when all the reese press build, select the campfire, and place it. Congratulations, you've beaten this annoying tutorial. Don't worry, tutorial, you weren't that annoying. I forgive you. You can now start your first expedition. Or not. Do as you wish. Nitro is better on toast. You eat nitro. What the heck? If you eat nitroglycerin, you'll probably die. I don't think humans can eat nitroglycerin without dying. How much did it cost? It cost $15. It's actually pretty cheap. Okay, so I actually, I actually didn't know about this part of the game. That there's like a separate base. And then... Expedition. I guess I just... Expedition menu and there's just one button. Start. Okay. I got an achievement. This path, everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, gender neutral warrior, your actions give me cards. Dot dot dot. Like I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I am the worst savior of all. Let's do it. Oh no, why are you looping counterclockwise this time? For some reason, I thought you'd always go clockwise. Slashy slash! Slashy slash! Rock. So, when I first got this game, I thought that, like, the whole, like, going on one of these loops would be, like, a full game. Right? Like, you do a loop and then you try to win in that loop, but I guess that's not how this works. Heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Gotta beat up the slimes. Cemetery. Spawns a skeleton every three days. Yeah, so these spawn enemies, which you might think is a bad thing, but it's not because enemies give you stuff. I think I'll put it 
right here? I don't know how strong the skeletons are. Slashy slash. Slashy slash. Wow, give me two cards. Treasury. Here's a random resource after placing anything on an adjacent tile? So I have to put this somewhere where I'm going to build a lot of stuff around it. And I guess diagonal also means adjacent. Yes, diagonally adjacent. Wait. Treasury diver adjacent tile. Hmm. Put this here then. Mountain, plus 5 HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. Imagine if Slime RL was alive. If Slime RL was alive. That gave me stuff. What is IRL slime made of anyways? Made of like... Wait, what is IRL slime made of? This is a meadow. It was 2 HP at the start of each day, so I just put them all in a big pal over here, I guess. Oblivion. A bit of delicious magic. Erases any established tiles. Erases monsters from the road. The vibes I'm getting from this reminds me of Cave Game for the DS. Cave Game? No, I haven't played Cave Game before. I've played Cave Story, though. That's similar? Hmm. Wait, Oblivion. You race the monsters from the road. Actually, wait. Does my HP carry over between battles? Yes, it does. Slowly going down. It was 2 HP at the start of each day. I don't think a day is when I return to the campsite, because I've been hearing the chicken noises Every once in a while, I guess it's when this bar goes up. Oh, wait, it tells me my stats. HP per day, plus six, okay. Battlefield. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts? Adjacent? Oh, wait, shit. Hmm. Wait, spawns a chest at the start of each loop. But the chest is... outside of this? I guess this means I want to put it... Somewhere where it covers the most amount of tiles? I'm gonna guess being a ghost is a- or enemies becoming ghosts is something I want, right? Because that's another enemy to fight? I guess this is the best place to put it. Seven tiles around it. Yeah, Cave Story. I've played Cave Story before. Yeah, you're right. This does kind of have Cave Story vibes. Although, it's not- it's not just because- It's not just because it's a pixel game. There's like other things, it's like the general atmosphere of it, I guess. Like it really goes in on that kind of aesthetic. Yeah, anyways, battlefield. Okay, unpause. Adventure. Boy, do I love walking around in a counterclockwise circle fighting slimes. Truly, this is what adventure is all about. Oh shit, I forgot to equip all my stuff, defense. Max HP? Wait, that's a lot of max HP. Damage! Wait. 80... plus 10% counter. I guess that's better. Vampirism? I'm gonna guess that's lifesteal. Hmm... This shield is better, even though it's exactly the same icon. So different items can have varying stats, I guess? Oh, when I'm hovering over the items, it pauses the game. That's nice. Toaster avatar looks like it's falling asleep because of how much they blink. Mm. I'm not falling asleep, I'm just extremely cute. What are you talking about? The undergroundish feel and darker atmosphere. Yeah, you're right. That. Yeah, it is like a cave. Wasteland. 5% chance of spawning a slime once a day. Oh, I see, I see. And the treasure chest spawns adjacent to the battlefield. So these, these items actually have random stats on them, so it's not like a fixed stat per item type. Every time Toaster blinks, he's actually stopping time to sleep? I, I, I'm not the god of time, I don't think I have time powers. <laughs> Did I get anything good from that? No I didn't. <laughs> Treasure chest. Oh, I have to attack the chest to open it. Yes, that's classic RPG hero behavior. Wow, this is good. Regen per second. Free HP. Who doesn't look free HP? Actually, I just noticed all my health came back, I guess, from the 
lifesteal. That's a lot of stats, but it's probably better. <laughs> Has a number next to it, which I'm assuming is the level of the item. And usually higher leveled items are better. Do I only have one ring slot? That's stupid. <laughs> Open the chest, not kill the chest. Yeah, gotta make sure the chest isn't a mimic, you're right. Meadow. I forgot to look at all of these items. Oof. Uh-huh. Can I cover... Oh, wait. But I don't want them to overlap because it already has the effect of the other ones. That's three tiles there. Three, 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 three. I guess this is the best place for me to put it. Five? Hold on. Meadow. Flashy slash! Yeah, give me those rocks. Looking at all the rocks gives me strength and HP. Beacon! A worthless landmark in a world with no direction. Plus 40% movement speed? Does movement speed matter? Oh wait, there's a second bar that's very ominous looking. Map completion. When this bar is filled, the boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile. Okay, so that's why movement speed matters. Because you want to loop around more before the second bar fills up. Plus 20% attack speed for all units. Oh wait, this has a larger range. No, I think this is the best place to put it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Sword. Can I sell these items? There's no maximum... Uh, okay, it shows me all of the effects up there. Flashy slash! Flashy slash! Wait, this is a grove. Spawns a rat wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Can multiple monsters be on the same tile? I want to guess the answer to that is no. Well, we'll see you later. I'll just put it here for... No, I want it to be next to this thing. Both of these. Yes. Alright. I'm sure the rat wolf will appear someday. Oh, I got a twig from walking through that. Stable branches. Somehow the memory of these sticks was not lost. Vampire Mansion. Hungry Eyes follow... Adds vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Adds... Adds vampires? Adds vampires? Okay, I guess I'll put it here then. Rock. Yeah, give me that. Give me that stuff. Flashy Slash. Flashy Slash. Flashy Slash. Wow, the skeleton has a lot of defense. Or well, just health, I guess. My weapon does 46 damage. It's level 4! Equipping a shield that makes me attack faster. That makes complete sense. Flashy slash! Flashy slash! Fuck. Okay, so there's supposed to be a vampire here. What do vampires sound like? What do vampires sound like? Uh, back off, human. That's not what vampires sound like. What do vamp- I don't think I can do a vampire sound, I'm sorry. Back off, human. A vampire, where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. Wait, what? If your farmers need help, I'd be glad to offer our vampires friends. No more lands, no more flock, only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger. Dot dot dot. Save yourself while you can. I don't know how long I will be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me and I will set this crumbled world right. Right? I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone, in the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. A vampire sounds like, what is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. I have not played that game before, but I know what you're talking about. Flashy slash. Holy crap, this guy has a lot of health. Oh no, he doesn't. It's just because I can only attack one thing at once. Okay. Has a soul? Undead vampire has a soul. Yeah, that's a stat that's very... Important to know about. Hmm. Makes me feel kind of fast at killing him. But not really. Goodbye. <laughs> Has a sword. That's one heck of a stat. Vampires often owned our lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. 
Yeah, vampires are good guys. They're not evil. Just because they need to drink blood and can turn into bats doesn't mean they're evil. But this won't do at all. Now they are just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Apparently the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Alright. Meadow. I give me that HP per day. Hold on. This gives... Gelatin. And... I want to be here or here? Here or here? Because this has the beacon. But this has the vampires. I'm sure it'll be fine to put it next to the vampire. No, no, no. The vampire is kind of strong. I'll put it next to the beacon instead. Slashy slash! Slashy slash! I have no soup. I sold it to the toaster in exchange for a sandwich. <laughs> Wait, why am I attacking the vampire first this time? Can I choose which one I attack? I guess it's just random targeting. Slashy slash! Artificial life and liquid. Yes, slimes are made out of liquid. Sorry, you don't. You already sold your soup to me, and now you have a sandwich. I hope you like sandwiches. Yeah, put the rock next to the vault and give me some twigs. The heck, a twig came out of the vault. There's this. This vault holds some very, very valuable things like twigs. Stop treasure chest abuse. You never know when- wait, hold on. What has been happening to my items? So I guess when it fills up, they get deleted and then turn into crafting materials? It seems like what's been happening. I haven't been noticing. I've also been forgetting to equip all my new stuff. Mm, level 2 ring. Level 2 armor. I already have level 2 armor. Game, I need you to give me a better weapon. And I don't want a slashy slash. Meadow, mountain, grove, spawns of that wolf. Whoa, wait, that just gave me a lot of stuff. Empty treasury. Spawns a gargoyle every three days? Where does this spawn it? It's in a random location, maybe? Level 3 shield. Oh wait, my shield's currently level 4, right. Ooh. Right after complaining about not having a better weapon, the game gives me better weapons. That's that's just how that's just how games work. You just gotta complain, and the game will be like, "Okay, I'll give you the thing you want." What's the difference between these? Counter and vampires. Well, I feel like I already have a lot of health regen, kind of. It's probably better to get the def counter because that gives me more DPS, I guess. That and then. Hmm. Mountain. No more vault to put my mountain. What the heck? Goblin camp. It just popped out of nowhere. The sound of backstabbing can be heard from miles away. Do goblins backstab? Is that what they're known for? Spawns a goblin on an adjacent tile once a day. Appears for every 10 mountain rock tiles. It just appears out of nowhere without me knowing it. Interesting. Okay. Rove. Rat wolf. I guess I'll just put it here. Nope. Spider cocoon. Spawns a spider on an adjacent tile once a day. Also, I still don't know if tiles can hold more than one monster at a time. Enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. And I haven't had any ghosts appear yet. I guess a chance probably not that high. On the spider on an adjacent tile. On this tile. And move to an adjacent tile. What does it mean if it can move to an adjacent tile? Wait, oh this is... Oh, I see. Well, it doesn't matter where I put this. I can put it somewhere where it forces it to spawn only in one specific tile, I guess. I'll just put it here then. Okay, let's go. Is the game giving you what you want, you toaster-related miracle? No, that's not a toaster-related miracle. That's just how video games work. If 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 the game's not doing the thing you want, you just gotta complain about it. You know, it's like it's like getting a good pars in Final Fantasy. You just gotta complain about not getting lots of crits, and suddenly the game will give you crits. <laughs> the twig fault. Slashy slash. 
I bet you at some point that one of these chests is actually going to turn out to be a mimic. And nobody will be I won't be surprised. On the skeleton every three days. Okay, put that here. Another spider thingy. Hmm. That here. Vampire mansion. Another one. Am I strong enough to vampire fight a vampire in all these battles? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Wait, what? I got something for walking- oh, right, you got stuff just for walking through. Ah, yes, a goblin. Stop! Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves, now give us all you've got. Sigh, in parentheses. You have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order to this order in this world first, and then you can do anything you want. Goblin must rob no other order in the world. Fair enough, I guess I don't have any valid objection here. Dot dot dot. Oh wait, I do have one. How about... Slashy slash! Slashy slash! Wow, the goblin attacks really fast. Enrages after an ally dies. Has a soul. Yeah, that's what it is. Skeleton, undead, has a soul. Skeletons have souls, guys. TFW, you remember yourself into existence. Yes. This game is... It's strange how these creatures appeared here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad and that the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Flashy slash! I am using a sword, right? Yes. Hey, rapiers are stabbing weapons, not slashing weapons. Hmm. Level 4 ring. It's probably better than level 2 one. Hmm. More damage, but less vampirism. Probably doesn't matter at this point. Slashy slash! Wait, this weapon hits all the enemies? Hold on. That's hitting both of them. Let me put down these rocks first. Another beacon. Why can't I put it here? Alright, I can't put it adjacent to the road. I wonder if their effects stack. Well, this seems like the best spot. Another vampire mansion. I think I'm strong enough to just fight a bunch of stuff all the time right now, right? I'll just put it over here. <laughs> Adventure. Flashy slash! Does it say anywhere that this weapon hits- Oh, damage to all. Four. But why? What gives me damage to all? Oh, my ring does. I see. Oh, that is a lot of stuff. Hold on. Level four shield. Defense. Magic counter. I feel like the way you would choose what to equip is to put as much into offensive stats as possible with just enough defensive stats so that your HP net is always positive because you don't want to die, right? And then I guess there's a boss at the end of each loop and what you would want to do is to also save a bunch of items with really high attack stats. I don't know what the boss is like yet though. Hmm. I think my HP is still fine right now so I won't Changed my loadout that much. That's a lot of spooties. Oh, you're right. That is a lot of spooties. Hello, little purple dudes. Oh, they, they look kind of cute. Spider. Well, you see, the spiders don't have a soul, so it's fine to kill them. Slashy slash. Oh, wow. They attack really fast. They do a lot of damage. Man, these vampires dodge everything. Armor. Max HP plus a lot. Okay. Oh, 5 shield. Yeah, sure, it's higher level. Level 4 ring, level 4 shield. There's all these other slots that I can't use yet. One day I will learn how to wear a helmet. Even though my character is obviously already wearing a helmet, the helmet slot is empty right now. Level 4 weapon! Wait. 
All the items have a color, and the color is not related to their type or their level. You see there's a blue sword and scimitar here. What is what does the color of the item mean? Probably has something to do with the type of stats on them. And just the yellow one has defense and attack speed. Magic damage counter. Equipping <laughs> a helmet just means putting one on top of the one your character is already wearing. Yeah. Always remember to double layer your helmet, folks. It reduces the chance of catching the head trauma. You don't look very healthy. My character doesn't look very healthy. Yeah, they're like this, like... They almost look like a skeleton themselves. Uh, magic damage evasion. I still don't know what the color means. Ooh, this is more damage. Okay. It's less damage. Flashy slash. <laughs> the spiders just pop out. Wait, there were multiple spiders on the towels. There were multiple spiders on the towels, so that means monsters can stack with each other. Because, like, there's only one here right now, right? Because it spawns one per day. But the other time, there were two because they spawned the second one. And there's two rat wolves here right now. So I guess monsters can stack on top of each other? Is head trauma very contagious? Is head trauma contagious? I don't know if, if your head trauma if your head trauma causes you to want to cause head trauma to other people, then I guess it is contagious. Good luck I'm behind seven armors. Yeah, why wear but but only seven? Why wear seven armors when you can wear seven hundred? Nobody can hit you if you're wearing seven hundred suits of armor. Spider cocoon. Spiders. Everyone loves spiders. And that's not true. Flashy slash. Wait, wait, this one is a mimic. <laughs> uh. See? I told you there would be treasure chests that turn into mimics. Plus 20% attack speed. Wait! Plus 20% attack speed. They get the attack speed too. Wait, where did that treasure come, chest come from? It came from the cemetery, right? Yeah. Also, my health is getting really low. Hmm. Flashy slash. Flashy slash. Flashy slash. Hold on. I need to pause right after this battle. Alright, gotta think about more. Oh! Alright, I'll equip this. It has vampirism, so I'll get all my health back now. And apparently. Flashy slash. Hmm. The mimics are upset with the recent chest abuse. I mean, mimics are not chests, right? That's like saying like, are there any living things in the real world that look a lot like a non-living thing? I don't know. Just wondering, placing all those monsters. It doesn't matter that they're next to each other though, because my health regen is mostly based on. Well, I guess the meadows mean the 26 health is not per day is not that much. It takes a very long time for a day to pass. More just so that I don't have enough defensive stats and vampirism right now. Vampirism seems very important in this game. Yeah, I think this it. Stick bugs. Stick bugs the spiders look like holy shit, that's a lot of Oh, there's a ghost here too. Hold on, let me uh. Treasury. Does the treasury to it again spawn a gargoyle? But where does it spawn a gargoyle? Adjacent to it? I'm questioning existence. Can you reassure that this is real life? Yes, this is real life. Well, at least you're in real life. I'm I'm in the I'm in the virtual world because I'm I'm a VTuber. Hmm. Okay, that there mountain. Road Lantern, a small spot of light in this grim world, decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. I wonder if that means the maximum, so if a tile has reached the maximum number of monsters, then it doesn't so like, because the cocoon spawn a spider next to, on any adjacent tile. 
right? So if one of those tiles has reached its maximum, then they will always be guaranteed to send it to the other tile, I suppose? Oh, that's how I guess it would work. Road Lantern. Increase the maximum number of monsters. Because you want there to be a lot of monsters, but you don't want to fight all of them at the same time, I guess. Flashy Slash. Oh boy, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, and that's the Gargoyle from the treasury. Okay. I guess it just spawns on a random tile. Maybe the closest one? Hold on. Red Lantern. Yeah. It would be good to prevent a billion enemies from stacking up in places that I don't intend for them to stack. Eh, this covers most tiles. Wait. No, it covers the camp. The camp can't have enemies on them. Right. Sure. Well, time to fight like 10 enemies. Slashy slash. Oh my god, they attack so fast. Slashy slash. But these guys are like ninjas. Look how fast he's going. Actually, they're doing a lot of DPS to me. Holy crap. Gargoyle has no soul. I didn't check if they had a soul, but you... Looks like you did. Evasion 10. Damage to all oh, four. I need that vampirism like a lot. Weapons are stronger, but they don't have healing on them. And I need healing, because my health is my health is going down. <laughs> That's a lot of spiders. Slashy slash. Hmm. I don't know if. Plus 20% attack speed for all units. Yeah, that includes enemies, of course. Hmm. Alright, I'll put this over here and I'll start putting metals around it. I'm slightly worried about my hit points right now, but there's not really much I can do about it, is there? I can run away. What happens if I die? Do I get to keep everything? Regen per second, 0.6, but it doesn't have the vampirism. I think the vampirism is better. Hmm. Alright, this armor seems better. Hmm. Life steal. Life steal is always the most OP stat in any single game. Like these type of attrition based games? Not, not attrition based, what's the correct term? I mean, there's like a certain type of game where lifesteal is basically just the best stat, and the feeling I'm currently getting is that lifesteal is very, very important in this game, but that's going off my assumption that you actually have to make it to the end of each loop, and that might not be a correct assumption. Maybe you just want to like, I don't know, just like, blast your way through and just get as much stuff as possible and then just run away. Also, that's a lot of spiders. And this was not a regular metal, it's a blooming metal. Why did it bloom? Earth covered with a thick carpet of grass. Nothing really interesting, unless you're a cow, of course. Yes, I'm sure cows would be very happy living in this very large meadow over here. <laughs> when your DPS turns into a tank because life's still too high, I think the correct term is bruiser, not necessarily tank. Hmm. I wonder if I keep all my stuff if I die. You have to use the retreat button to keep your stuff. I mean, I'm, I just want to keep going, but if I end up dying and losing all my stuff, that'd be kind of sad. Also, I almost know where I can put this next beacon. I'm not really sure how I feel about boosting the attack speed of enemies. Well, actually, it boosts my own attack speed, so it's like an equal gain on both sides. So the net effect is the increased movement speed for me, so it still is a buff for me. A net buff. Yeah? I can delete enemies if there's too many of them. Ooh, that's four spiders! That's a lot of spiders! Holy shit. Slashy slash! <laughs> I wonder what the actual max number of enemies you can fight at once is. Because this is like five enemies. It doesn't seem like there's space to put more than five enemies on. I guess it could fit a sixth enemy. Oh, pause, pause, pause. Oh boy. Um. 
my health is getting pretty low. I'm worried. This has lower damage. No, I don't want that, even if it has vampirism on it. <sighs> Regen per second, 0.6. Pretty sure the vamp is still better than that. 16% less damage, right? Not that one. Evasion 10%, magic damage 7, 5 damage to all. Probably better if I use that, because more damage also means more life steal. Mm hmm. You're gonna die on all those spiders? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna die on this encounter specifically. Flashy slash? Oh, maybe you were right. Okay, wait, I need to kill the vampire first. <laughs> Slashy slash. Oh my god, I need to pause right after this fight. Please stop dodging. You lost like 125 last fight, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so I can delete the next towel. <laughs> oh, I have three of these now, that's good. Oof. I can delete this towel of enemies. Boom. So I'm safe from that for now. Um... <laughs> can I survive all the way to the... Do I have to survive all the way to the camp? What did you say about not regretting putting so many spawn points next to each other? But you get stuff from enemies. So... Like, obvious... I feel like... Hmm... It's not because they're next to each other, because I don't... Because, like, each loop takes the same amount of time of, of my character walking around in a circle. So it doesn't matter where they are, because I'm always going to have to fight an equal number of enemies each loop anyways. I don't think- and I don't have any, like, time? I mean, I have HP per day. It's only 38, though, and that's not a lot. <laughs> don't get stuff from enemies if you're dead. Yeah, I have to balance the amount of- the amount of enemies to what my character can do! Oh god! I might die here. Goodbye, cruel world. Flashy slash harder! Oh, I survived. Somehow. Okay. Okay. Uh... Regen for second, 1.8. That seems like a lot. I think that's probably better than the vamp person. It has a lot of defense, so I want that. Mm. All my items are level 5, so I probably shouldn't look at anything that's lower than level 5. Uh. Mitigate damage taken by reducing numbers fought at a time. Yes, you're correct. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's right. You want to spread out all the enemies across. You don't fight them all at the same time. That's right. That is correct. Uh, these beacons can cover four tiles. It covers like six over here, so I'll put it over here. Alright, I think I'll be fine for these single slimes XP. Okay, put that there. Okay, Skellington. And I'm still alive. No, I don't think that's good. magic. Magic damage. Magic damage. What is magic damage? Do I do magic damage? Why do I do 37? Is that because of? Is magic damage just a flat? Wait, 37. Because I have damage to all. Does that include the damage to all? Hmm. Flashy slash. Beacon. I'm getting so many of these beacons. Soon, with all of these beacons lighting my way, I will be the fastest toaster in the West. Also, I don't know if the effective beacons stack. Although the way the way it displays makes me think of that they don't stack. So if it's already covering one tile, then I don't need to cover it again. Yeah. I've already covered every towel except for like these four, so I guess I'll put this here. I, I don't have proof that the effect doesn't stack, by the way. I'm just I'm just spitballing right now. Uh, there is this area that it covers all three, and I I'll have to check the next time we go around. Flashy slash, flashy slash, flashy slash. My HP seems to be at an equilibrium so far. I don't want to spawn more vampires for now. I don't think I want to spawn more skeletons either. Hmm. One's a spider on a... 
Do I want to fight more stuff? If I fight small amounts of stuff, is it a H net HP gain for me? Because I have vampirism, so if I'm fighting like weak enemies, just a small number of weak enemies, it might actually be a net HP gain for me. It's not a net HP gain there though. Boy, these vampires are tough. Oh no, I, I spawned another goblin camp. Equilibrium, where have I heard that before? I don't know. That word seems um, awfully familiar to me too though. Oh boy, that's a lot of goblins. <laughs> hmm. I, I, I'll I find a way to deal with them e eventually. <laughs> yeah, I want to spread out these enemies. I'll probably nuke those goblins. <laughs> I don't think I can win against them. Alright, slime. Slashy slash! Huh, that's barely any HP, because they have so little HP themselves. Wait a minute. Why do these metals keep blooming? These thick walls guard. I mean, obviously it's because it's adjacent to the treasury, but it doesn't say that anywhere. If I put this here, yeah, it turns into a blooming metal. I guess there's just a lot of like hidden interactions between all the tiles. Because there's a hidden interaction with the goblin camps as well. You just have to you just have to know dot jpeg. All right, give me stuff. <laughs> I see, the items are turning into crafting materials. I don't think... I don't think any of these are better. This has more damage but no vampirism, so... I don't want that. Rocks. Rocks to give me max HP. What the heck just happened there? They turn into a mountain peak! Plus 120 HP. That's a lot more than a um, plus 5 per... Per adjacent? Wait, so this is giving adjacent also includes diagonal. This one has one, two, three, seven adjacent, one seven, 35, and then this gives 120, but it's actually a combination of combination of nine of them. So nine times thirty-five, nine times thirty-two, seventy, like three hundred? Oh wait. Yeah, so the mountain peak it actually gives me less HP per tile. Wait, plus 5 additional HP for each adjacent mountain or rock tile. I see. Okay, spawns a heartbeat every two days. Yeah, that sounds um, definitely not ominous. Oh boy. I don't think I want to fight more vampires, so no more vampire mansions for me. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, those gums came out of nowhere! They literally came out of the camps as I was walking through it, what the heck? Level 6 string! Damage to all 7, defense 5, attack speed 4, magic damage 7, defense 5. I'm just going to assume this is better because this has a higher number and higher numbers means it's better, right? Also I need to nuke these guys before I die to them. <laughs> something something backstab, you're right they did backstab me! Yeah they talked about backstabbing in the, in the thingy machig, the dialogue. I got a lot of health from walking through the camp, that's good. And I got another nuke, which is good, I guess. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Can I rearrange the cards? No. No, this is really a... I wish I could rearrange the cards. Every single card game player really likes to rearrange their hands constantly when they're not doing anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm also one of those people. Hmm. I wonder if I put like a 4x4 four four of meadows, if they would turn into like a meg mega dough or something. Grove. Rat wolf. Every two days. I feel like I haven't fought many rat wolves recently. I'll put this here, I guess. <laughs> Should be fine. Definitely won't die to a rat wolf. Alright, put that there. Now oh, that's an empty treasury. Wow, that gave me a lot of stuff. Slashy slash? Alright, hold on. I need to look at all this new stuff. Vampirism. I might be overestimating how good vampirism is, by the way. This feels like the kind of thing that would happen. Eh. 
More rocks. Give me more max HP. I have 1,000 max HP now. That's a lot of max HP. These vampire mansions are very spooky. I don't want to put more of them down. Mm. I will try my best not to get murdered by spiders. Goodbye, Fluff. Speaking of spiders, wait, this Gargoyle has so much- Oh no, that's because I'm not main attacking it, right? That's my damage to all. Slashy slash. Wow, I just one shot it right after I said that. Alright, who's ready to fight? Who's ready to fight? One billion spiders. Hero man versus nine spiders in a row. <sighs> Vampirism. Damage to all. Regen per second. Hmm. This is probably better, right? So hard to tell. Toaster versus one billion spiders. Who would win? Depends on the size of the spiders. Are we talking one billion ant or one one billion germ-sized spiders or one billion horse-sized spiders? Used to be four in a tile. Yeah, I guess I'm just walking faster because of all these beacons now. Speaking of which, I need to check if the beacon effect stacks. Nope, it's only one. Okay. And of course, there's a vampire here as well. That actually might be very bad. I'm losing a lot of HP here. Once I fight just spiders, it seems to be fine. Nine spiders versus 1000 degree toaster? Yeah, toasters... Yeah, I'll just shoot flames out of my toast slots. And, you know, it's like a flamethrower, which is good at dealing with, uh, you know, mob CC. DC? No, that's not CC, it's just AoE. And spiders are enemies with small amounts of HP, but large amounts of numbers. So my toaster slot flamethrower is very strong against spiders. Can I nuke the tiles? Oh, I can nuke the tiles. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about nuking this fucking vampire thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, goodbye vampires. Sorry, you guys are too strong. I can't fight that many of you at a time. Uh huh. More rocks. More mountains. Like a rock, but really big. <laughs> it's like a rock, but really big. Wait, plus two more HP. Plus. Oh, they have slightly different stats. Okay. Spider cocoon. Welcome to the spider zone, how may I help you? Am I one shot? No, I'm not. They have so much dodge, I hate this. More rocks, more mountains. Slashy slash. Oh, Toaster, what's the normal day like in your world? I wake up and I fight 10,000 spiders. That's what it's like in this world, at least. Cemetery. Skeletons. I think... No, I don't want anything next to this. I'll just put a spider cocoon here and then I can actually fight for spiders every day. Actually, it'll be a good way to check how many enemies this one tile can support. Because just one cocoon was already spawning three of them per loop. I don't think I'm even going to get there before the boss spawns. Oh boy. I, I need HP. Holy crap. Boss gauge about to be full. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh my god, it just popped out of nowhere. I don't think I have a way of increasing the amount of HP I have when I face the boss, though. Oh, oh, that's a ghost! Oh my god, it dodges everything! Oh, what the heck? Ghost of a ghost! I, I feel like this is probably a rare spawn. That's... Has a soul? Well, I guess a ghost is a soul, right? A swarm. Ghost of a ghost. Why does one ghost turn into multiple ghosts when it dies? That doesn't make any sense. Has a I mean, a ghost is a soul, right? Look, it's like a blob or something. Evade, stop dodging. I need to hit you for HP. It also takes so little damage. Holy crap. Look, I only do six damage to it. I usually do like 40, right? On the chest at the start of each loop. Oh man, I need more meadows. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, Link Town. Bonk. 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 
This is not good. I'm not going to have a lot of HP. This does a lot of damage, but it has no vampirism. Oh wait, but... Because I... Because the increased amount of damage causes me to regain more health per hit. Yeah. yeah. I think it's definitely better to equip this. It's level 8. Holy crap. Seven, five, four, four, one point two. I'm I'm pretty sure this ring is better. It has more defensive stats on it. I need defensive stats right now. What does this give me? One point eight regen per second. And yeah, attack speed. Hmm. 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 The difference in wait max HP. Oh wait, armor gives max HP, not defense. I, I don't know why, but I've been reading the max HP line as defense this whole time. But it's like, yeah, 422 defense, that seems balanced, but I only have 17. These things don't give defense at all, they only give max HP. I'm pretty sure that getting 3 more defense is better. And when my max HP reduces my current HP... When my max HP changes, my current HP is changed proportionately. Hello, Solar, thanks for checking in. Toast, to toast of a toast. Yeah, and when you when you put toast in a toaster, it becomes a double. No, it just becomes a piece of charcoal. Never mind. Don't double toast your toast. It won't taste good. Road lantern. Oh, there's already two spiders here, and I've barely walked at all. Counter plus ten percent. Mm hmm. Defense six. Attack speed 8. I can't tell if this is better at all. I'm just going to assume that defense is more defense is good, because I don't have a lot of defense right now. But that means each point is worth a lot, right? Not not necessarily. That depends on the formula for the defense. I'll just put this here for now. Slashy slash. Another treasury. I don't think I can fill out a treasury by the time the boss spawns. Oof. Let's put this here anyways. Mm. Vampirism. And... Okay, this ring's definitely better. I say definitely, but I didn't actually think about it. It's okay, I'm pretty sure my uh, parallel processing brain power figured it out without me knowing. You know, because I'm a hive- because I'm a hive mind. Oh, that's four spiders. That's a lot of goblins. I'm probably going to nuke them before I get there. I don't want to fight them. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, goblins. Watch, watch as they spawn right on top of me. Okay, that didn't happen. <laughs> slashy slash. Battle of who can slashy slash the most. Oh, that's level eight. Regen per sec, 1.8. Uh, yeah. I don't have any more nukes, do I? I don't. I don't have any more nukes. I'm probably gonna have to fight these two goblins at some point. Yeah, okay, let's go. Oh, there's a slime right here. This free HP? Wow, that's a lot of items. I don't think I want to get much more cards, so I should just fill out this treasury. Wait, that's a grove. Ah, I thought it was a meadow. Is my HP going to go up or down over this fight? That was a net loss. Unfortunate. Hmm. I don't need a max HP. I don't need a max HP. I, I can't even hit my max HP right now. This might be bad though. Wait, this one's attacking differently. Oh yeah, one of them's a leader and one of them's a regular one. I see. And it keeps dodging on my attacks. Stop dodging! Guess I guess I can't look at its dodge stat. Why does it have 30 damage? Oh, right, because it's ally died, right? Slashy slash. Hmm. Right, less vampires and less regen. Okay, let's keep going. Oh. Oh my god. What is this? What is this? What is this? What? What the heck? Oh, it's a harpy, I see. What do harpies sound like? They screech a lot, and. and. The only harpies I can remember are the ones from Guild Wars 2. And they screech a lot and don't say very smart things. No! Yeah, it's a harpy. You know, they're like, they're like 
bird woman. You know, they're they're birds, but also women. And for some reason, in every single game that there are harpies, they're always made out to be like very stupid and feral creatures. I don't know why. I guess that's just how harpies are. Chicken? Are harpies chickens? No. No, because harpies can fly and chickens can't. What do you mean, no? You want to save the world? You want to ask for help? Answer is no. How did you... But, but why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of the sky. But it doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine, I don't fully understand it, but tell me your version. What does to save the world mean to you? My progeny and my kin, for them to be strong and to live. It's part of the cycle of life and death. It is life itself. It is the world. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings, and life will go on. And how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starvation. Please, try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. It's time to say goodbye. Slashy slash. We must settle things like men with slashy slash. I slashy slash with my scimitar and the harpy slashy slashes with their claws. I feel awful. By fixing one evil, I'm becoming a source of another. I hope this doesn't become one of those type of games. Where it's like, you were, you were the evil all along. I hope it doesn't. I don't know, I just feel like that... That kind of thing is kind of cliche. Maybe? Eh. I mean, it could be fine. There's no home for harpies except the highest mountains. Well, I do have a big mountain right here. But there's no- oh right, because they spawn from the mountain, lol, okay. There's no home for harpies except the highest mountains, but there's no food there. I can't imagine how they managed to survive if their mountains were cut from reality. Goodbye. And it's the boss coming, I don't want to fight more things with the lore of my health, please. Hmm. The gargoyle attacks very slowly. Oh, that's a lot of HP. 5.4 per second, I- wait, what? Hmm. I think that's actually more than I get from the vampirism. Hold on. Yeah, this is definitely better. And this is a lot of armor. Or the wait, shield. Oh, shields give defense. I see. And go to the meadows, harpies. Yeah, that's right. Why do they live in the mountains if there's nothing in the mountains? They could just fly over here and it'll be all nice and stuff. There's cows and treasuries, empty treasuries. Uh, oh boy, I'm worried. Oh, okay, it replaces the campfire. It is time to face the destiny of this world. I have to make my way through all of these enemies? That doesn't sound good. Oh boy. <laughs> Can I hold more cards and... Can I hold more cards? I, I actually don't know. Well, I have to make my way through these 1,000 spiders and probably a few ghosts. Why is there no super chat? I need you guys to watch all my videos 10 times so I get more more uh, view hours on them. And once I hit 4,000 view hours, I can enable super chats. All right, let's slashy slash a gargoyle. And a vampire. Oh boy. I don't like this. My HP is going down. Wait. Do my cards get replaced when I have too many? I can't tell. Is that, is that what's happening? This armor. 14. Yeah, I, I need that health regen. Um, yikes. yikes. This shield has more defense. Okay, so this is strictly better. And this is not strictly better, it's different. Regen per second. No, that 5.4 is probably very good. Probably. I'm just guessing. Oh uh, boy. Is my attack speed the Oh yeah, it's the same no matter what weapon I use. Whether or not I use the biggest scimitar in the world or the smallest dirk in the world, I will always slashy slash at exactly the same speed. Because that's just how it is for an adventurer like me. I don't know how to attack in any other way other than slashy slash! 
And no matter what weapon I use, I will always slashy slash. Did I did I gain HP? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 cards right now. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. This boss music is fairly- oh no, a ghost. Is it going to turn into a double ghost again? No, it didn't. Okay, so I guess the double ghost thing is just a rare occurrence that happened to me the first time I fought a ghost. Very nice game, thank you. Okay, it's deleting cards. Oh, but the deleted cards turn into items. Okay, I guess I'm fine with that. Oh boy. It's only give max HP, so I don't actually- I have a lot of max HP right now, so I don't care about them um, stacking them up. I just want to get stuff from the treasury. I'm still over here. I wonder if I can preemptively put down a road lantern and delete monsters. Yeah, that did it. It deleted one monster from each of those tiles. So I guess the maximum is four, and then these things reduced it to three. Okay. I actually fought another ghost earlier. Oh. Didn't notice. I guess the ghosts are, you know, ghosts are just like transparent. They're very hard to see. And sometimes I just don't see them at all. D Dome, hello D Dome. Oh, that gave me a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Wow. I have. You know, I would be very sad if, like, dying actually deleted all your stuff. I don't think it would. I don't think it does. Isn't the point of this game to try to get as far through each loop as possible? You're approaching scary spider valley. Yeah, I did this to myself. I made all these spiders. I, I put all these spider cocoons there. You know, I could have expanded scary spider valley and like had even more spiders, but I, I want to live. Not die. Okay. All right, now every single town is covered by a beacon. So no matter where I go, I have 20% more move speed. All right, let's go. Let's fight the scary spiders. And there's also a harpy here for some reason. I guess the way I target an enemy is just completely by random. Yeah, I don't want max HP. Hmm. Hmm, all right, let's go. Flash slash. Do I get HP per second while in combat? Yes, I do. It's slowly ticking up. Okay. And I attack once per... I wonder what my base attack speed is. I'm fine with my cards being deleted. It gives me more items. My HP seems to be fairly stable right now. Alright, I want to put down the ones that... Give me more HP! Oof. Okay. I will just use this road lantern to delete as any any as many enemies as possible from my path for now. There were not four enemies, so that did nothing. Great, wonderful. Thanks, game. Oh my god, an enemy spawned there right as I walked into it. <laughs> Just staring at my HP bar right now and hoping that it goes up. Seems to be fairly stable, that's good. Yeah, I'm actually gaining HP over time. Nice. Nice, nice. I don't think that rings better. Ooh, I got a lot of HP from that. Damage to all oh, five. I can swap items in the middle of combat, but the thing is the items just go away forever. I can't even remove them. Guess there's no bad stats though, so that makes sense. Wait. It's not even- yeah, alright, let's go. Slashy slash. How much damage does the slime do? Six. Hmm. I guess at this point some enemies actually are just free HP for me. And I don't like these guys though, they have too much health. Give me more HP. No, this is a net loss. Hmm. Wait. Oh, this is better. Only if by a little bit, but it's still better. Alright, let's keep going. Mace. Uh, hmm. Mace, 24% attack speed. So, what's 24% plus 1 fourth of 26? One fourth of twenty six is uh I know this it's six. I'm good at math and twenty six plus six is thirty two. But this has damage to all, so I think that's better. Alright, let's go. Bonk. Bonk. 
Oh, and I guess bigger damage values are good for enemies with high defense? <laughs> Shoutouts to skeletons like Schwassen, are you a skeleton? I didn't know that. Alright, getting stuff. No. That's a lot of materials, man. Uh-huh. Bonky bonk. Yeah, I guess I'm bonky bonk with a mace now. Not slashy slash. Shield. Hmm. I don't think any of these items are better than what I'm currently using. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna bonky bonk these goddamn wolves. Bonky bonk! No, my attack animation is still slashy slash. That's how you use a mace, by the way. You you go and 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 you hit your enemy. And, and then you win. Bonk! Man, this weapon does a lot of damage. But my HP is still a net negative, which I don't like. Alright, let's put these here for now. Meadow HP regen. Wait a minute, what? Why is this a blooming meadow? Mm, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it because when it's adjacent to something else that's not a meadow, it becomes a blooming meadow, so the meadows need to... You need to like inter... Wait, adjacent, but only... But not, not diagonally adjacent. Usually when cards say adjacent in this game, it means diagonally and... And cardinally. But the meadows only become blooming meadows when they're cardinally adjacent to something else, maybe? It seems like it's anything else right now, but it could be not anything else. Why? Why did the enemy spawn right when I walk into it? <laughs> oh wait, is the color the rarity of the item? Because <clears throat> the gray items all have no... Affixes. I don't know if affix is the right term. They have no extra stats. And the blue items have one, and the yellow items have two. Yeah. So the color of the item is the rarity. Yeah, yeah. Blue items have one extra stat, and yellow items have two. So I mostly want to use yellow items, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. The extra defense is probably better. I'm just taking a wild guess, but it's probably better. Yeah, even though I had to get rid of a bit of vampirism. Holy crap, wait, why did that hit me for so much damage? Please don't kill me here. Vampire Man, stop. I'm definitely going to die when I get here. Uh, but I would like to at least see what the boss is like before dying to it. I have to fight a lot of goblins, which I'm going to oblivion. I'm going to blow them up before before I have to fight them. Yeah. Because I don't think there's any way I'm going to survive against three goblins. I don't even know if I'm going to survive to them. The orange items have four affixes. Yes. Mm. Alright, I have to fight one gargoyle here. Bonk. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh huh. And then. No, oh, where did that come from? I'm gonna have to fight a harpy. Off attacking so fast! Okay, I'm gonna put this meadow here and see what happens. Oh, yeah, become a blooming meadow. I guess if it's next to anything else. Hi, Toaster. Hello, Sean. Sean. All right, I need to remember to pause right after this. Okay, 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 okay. Goodbye, goblins. You guys are annoying. I hope they don't spawn the moment I walk into that tile. All right, boss time. How how is this even possible? Wait, oh, the lich is talking. What do liches sound like? How? Is wait no that's not what liches sound like. I don't think I can do the voice of a lich. They just sound like necromancers. He has to sound evil, right? How how is this even possible? That's just my vampire voice. I'm sorry. That's right. Didn't you you didn't devour me like the rest of the world? Haven't I? Do you really th do you really don't think so? Is that a real sentence? <laughs> Sans. 
What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. Oh, I consumed all of your reality. Every one of its elements now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform, static mess. Along with you, of course. You're insane. Dot dot dot. So, what do we have here? Dot dot dot. More dots. I see. You found a way to interact with other pieces of your reality. To organize, combine, and merge them. But how? I don't see any exceptional talent or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what is happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is betraying my world and thinks that it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. I wonder if this is going to be one of those games where it's like the player is actually the deuce ex machina that saves the world. And because the player, which is me, is here, it, it allows the, the PC, the, the character, the main character, to do weird stuff. Right? Because I don't actually control the hero. The, the hero just walks in the counterclockwise or clockwise circle, and, and I make things appear out of thin air for them. But they don't seem to be aware of my existence, at least. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors. A problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time then. I don't think you're capable of tealing regret, but I'm about to change that. Watch as I get one shot by this dude. Yeah, I did 186 damage, I'm dead. Goodbye. Ouch. Goodbye. Wait, he has his buff on him. Researcher. Health and damage are increased by 5% for every Lich's Palace at the start of the battle. Oh yeah, those are the buildings that he spawned next to the next to the campfire when he appeared. 1144 HP. Hmm. Has a soul, cosmic. Well, wow, that's unfortunate. Alright, goodbye. You've died in battle. Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception for you. Retreat. You keep 30% of all resources found. Great. 30%. Okay. Yeah, I should have run away then. I lost a lot of stuff. Wait, this isn't that much stuff. Oh, I guess the small items combine into the big items. When you get enough of them. Goodbye. I can't believe it! Hey everybody, the boy has managed to return! Survivors? Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is there still a place without darkness? We don't know where we came from, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never even been with us. It's like we forgot them. You you forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything else forgotten. But wait, dot dot dot. You said that I managed to return? That means you remembered I was here. Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you. For now, I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. We weren't joking about helping you. Here are a few things that survived the cataclysm and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. 
Take them, you might need them. And she's gonna give me like two sticks or something. Yeah, that's basically two sticks. <laughs> one food supply, one rock, and one wood. Okay, so that's a lot of camps. Hmm, can't be destroyed. But its inhabitants will gladly move to better housing. Oh, they make a sound effect when you click on them. It has RTS vibes to me. Monsters keep away from this. It's a nice spot. Blah, 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 Hmm. Wait. What do I do here? All right, I can build stuff. One campfire. Kitchen. All right, so this game is basically... Hmm. Most roguelikes... In most roguelikes, the main gameplay loop is longer than the loop in Loop Hero. Um, I think... Wow, that still took like an hour and a half. Wow. But I'm basically expected to build all of these buildings and they will help me be stronger the next time on my next loop. And then I get stuff and don't get killed the next time I use the runaway button so I keep all my stuff and then I build even more things. And eventually I'll be strong enough to beat the Lich, which hopefully is the victory condition, but I can definitely see that not being the actual real victory condition. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Potions heal. You can take up to three potions with you. Two potions are refilled at the camp. 4% of max HP? That doesn't seem like that much. Hello, DJ Warlock. Welcome. Uh, I don't know if I want to do another loop. I think I'll probably do one more loop and then that will end up taking an hour. But it'll be fine. Smithy. There's always work for a blacksmith, apocalypse or not. Unlocks ability to craft tools for the camp. If the supply depot is built, the supply depot is all the way up here. Okay. I mean, I have to build one of. Wait, I can't even build these two. What the heck? Because I don't have stuff. Because I died and lost all my stuff. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. I still have some stuff, so it's okay. A very important place for any camp. If your nose isn't lying, there is good food here. Ten percent to the camp for its power. And obviously, building each of these things gives more cards, so each loop becomes more interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. Under easily understandable. Oh, I see. Does, does the layout of my camp matter? Oh boy. <laughs> I bet later on there's going to be something with like adjacency bonuses or something and there's no way for you to tell right now that there's going to be adjacency bonuses and then and then I'll get and then I'll get screwed over because I didn't know about the adjacency bonus later. That seems fairly much like what this is going to be like. You could probably rebuild things. Yeah, I mean, it would be dumb of me not to just build one of these for now. Is this guy the cook? He has a scar on his eye. I wonder where he got it from. Why is the scar white? Are scars normally white? Maybe it's a. Maybe he got. He tattooed it white after he got the scar. Looks like a tough man. Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. I. I. I never would have guessed. What? You were waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Hey guys, do you know what the difference between a good toaster and a bad toaster is? Yeah, yeah, a good toaster is toastier. <laughs> Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Yes, that's a lot of stuff. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. Onion. But give me a few minutes and everyone in this camp will be running to my table, following the tasty smell of a good stew. Oh, it has a number one next to it. I bet you can level this stuff up. Upgrade building, yeah, you can delete them too. Okay, I see. Available supply depots. I don't know what a supply depot is, but I can't build one yet. Yeah, it's all the way up here. I have to build all this other stuff first. Refuge. Unlocks a new class. Wait, you can get different classes. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
Unlocks the ability to gain special traits after killing monsters in expeditions. Okay, so that's... Special traits are not something that carries between loops, I guess. Unlocks the village card. Mm -hmm. Potato. Onion. Potato. Onion. Can only be built next to a field kitchen. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm. There's already these the adjacency things happen. <laughs> Told you there'd be adjacency related type things that they don't tell you about. God, I hate it when games do that. Just just let me read everything in advance, please. I want to be able to read all of these and spend like one hour reading all of them and like plan out the entire layout of my whole village thing before ever unlocking everything. Cause that's what happens if you that's what happens with players like me if you let us know what everything does ahead of time. We'll just plan everything out and then never get to it because we're too busy planning. Uh, okay, I guess I just have to not die next time. Okay, what does the upgrade button do? Uh, plus 8%. Yeah, okay, just makes the effect better. Camps item slots, plus one whatever the heck that thing is. I don't know what that icon is, but it's a thing that I get plus one of. And, and it requires a lot of materials that I don't have. Onion. Potato. Popotos. Fried papotos. Onion. Onion. Alright, I guess we'll go on one more loop. Expedition. Okay, that's a lot of buttons. Hello, new buttons. Chapter 1! Okay, yeah, I see how it is. <laughs> each, I guess each time you... Yeah, it, when you finish chapter 1 by, you know, beating the Lich, you'll have another chapter. That makes sense, because the Lich wasn't like unimaginably hard. Oh, and I see that the new equipment slots are also based on your class? Maybe? Enemies have 0 to 1 abilities. Enemies have abilities? Oh, and enemies feel stronger per loop. I, did, I actually did not notice that last time. Max amount of a resource. There's a max amount that you can gather per loop. I didn't know that either. Class. Warrior. A class that doesn't have any particular benefits or disadvantages. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Plus 2% damage for each second of the fight. Okay, I didn't know that either. Additional class stats. Oh, that's interesting. So the secondary stats are based on your class. Oh, okay. What are all of these buttons? Oh, these are the cards. What? Deck building! Yeah. <laughs> that skeleton low-key looks thick. That's the Lich. He's the big big bad guy. He's like the thickest skeleton of all. He has to be thick because he's strong. Uh, <laughs> deck building. You know, I actually suck at deck building games. I suck so much at deck building games. I mean, like, uh, not, um, not TCGs, although I do kind of suck at TCGs as well, but I mean, like, actual deck builders, the physical deck builders, like Dominion and stuff. I'm actually really bad at them. You'd think I would be good at them because I'm a 1,000 IQ toaster, but I'm actually really bad at them. Mm. 50 Oblivions! Yeah, just... Just Oblivion the boss. Easy. Wait, so I have to... Okay, so there's a minimum and maximum deck cost here, and I have to... Yeah, that's too much. Chrono Crystals? <laughs> Doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. Yeah, now I can summon 10,000 spiders per day instead of one. Chrono crystals. Blood Grove, a living forest. May spawn something dreadful from the remains. Can be placed near a forest adjacent to the road. Its roots devours enemies that have less than 15%? But it can spawn an enemy off of those 15% HP left. I wonder if devoured enemies will drop goods, or if they're just gone. Who doesn't want more spiders? Uh, anacrophobic people. Yeah. Whenever I see games with spiders in them, I just instantly think of anacrophobic settings, you know, like the the anti-spider settings in games. Although, actually, what games do have anti-spider settings? Well, Factorio has them, obviously. Because it has the spider robot. And you can... 
get rid of the spider robot's legs, so it just turns into like a floating UFO, it looks funny. The Satisfactory also has the anti-spider setting. Although in Satisfactory it turns the spiders into like these freaky like cat chips, and I think the chips and the cat chips are actually more scary than the spiders, so <laughs> yeah, as fast as Exhaustion says, Satisfactory's anti spider setting is worse. Yeah, yeah, those like, those gifs, those cats are just so out of place and they just look so freaky, my god. Funny story, I killed a spider earlier today, so did I. I just killed like 20 spiders. Not a funny story, but it's a story. <laughs> well, I don't think I want the Chrono Crystal, so I'll just go with this. And each category also has its own min and max cost. Well, I guess each card only has a cost of one. What do these icons on top of the cards mean? Because these ones are black and these ones are... I don't know, the icon means where you can put it. Yeah. Yeah, I think the... Because these could not be put next to the road and these could only be put next to the road. And these had to be put on the road. So I guess that's what that little icon right at the top of the card means. Hmm. Yep. All right, let's go. Loop number two. And I go clockwise this time because time is relative. Sometimes clocks go clockwise, sometimes clocks go counterclockwise. And now we slashy slash. Oh, you can um, speed up the game. Double speed. All right, let's start off with our pile of groves and mountains. I want to put all the mountains in one big block somewhere. I want the groves to be adjacent to other things. All right. I don't... Do I want to fight vampires early on? I think I can handle one. And before I instant... Wait. Oh wait, this is a grove, not a meadow, right? When before I instantly die to the vampire over there, lol. I'll try spreading out my enemies a bit more this time. Ah. Uh. Good to be an adventurer, slashy slashing innocent slimes. Well, slimes can't be innocent because they don't have souls. Well, that's completely fine, right? <laughs> do, 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 do. In the beginning, there was nothing but slimes. Slashy slash. The shield on your character looks like a pancake with butter. Does it? Wait, that's not the treasury. This is the treasury. And I want the rocks to be in a 3x3 three three eventually. Can I just... Oh, that's not it. Okay. A pancake with butter. It's just a regular buckler show. What are you talking about? That's not a pancake. You want to try eating that? It would be very painful, I bet. Do -do -do. Uh, I just ninja that slime. It spawned, but I was already away from it. Lol. Bonk. Bonk. Do, 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 do. The walk animation on the little character sprite looks so funny. Boop, 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 boop. It's like a 7x7 seven seven sprite or something. Okay, so the vampires actually are not that strong on the first loop either. So the scaling per loop is does do a lot of stuff. Chicken? Is there a chicken? Oh yeah, the chicken sound is whenever the day rolls over in the game. Meadows. Oh right, I want to put these like here. Yeah! Nice! <laughs> yeah, why does he walk like a dog? Yeah, yeah, that's right. He like waddles. Do, 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 do. I wonder if the different characters have different walk animations or icons. Man, that scaling per loop is really doing wonders for this slime's health. I was able to like three shot at the beginning and now it took me like six slashy slashes. <laughs> Spawn the chest at the start of each loop, I see. <sighs> Enemies on Jason Tiles can become ghosts. Right. Oh great, I'm already starting stacking everything up. Even though I said I wouldn't stack everything up, but there needs to be enemies for them to turn into ghosts, so I have to stack them. Hey, that's how this works. Why are there two slimes there? Bonk. 
if slimes are just made out of liquid, then why does hitting them even hurt them? Like, like, like if you like hit a, a puddle of, if you hit like a pool of water with a stick, it wouldn't damage the puddle of water. <laughs> slimes making no sense. I don't understand. Oh yeah, give me all that good stuff. Wow, I already got an orange tier item. Mm hmm. Hmm. Meadow. Spider's cocoon. I want to set up another spider valley and it's probably going to be down here. <laughs> Water has feelings too. No, it doesn't. Water's not alive. It can't have feelings. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Ooh. We can have spider valley with like spider ghosts. <laughs> Sounds like a bad idea. I want to do it anyways because it's funny. Hmm, I think I'll spread the wolves around. Bonk. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Rock. Mountain. Oh right, these guys spawn every time I put mountains. God damn, I forgot about that. I'll just put this right here. And now it's a blooming meadow. Ghost spiders sound like fun. What about the ghost of a spider ghost? Yeah, we can fight those double ghosts, except they're... Ooh, this is good. Except it doesn't have health regen. Right. Right. That's more damage, though. Yeah, I guess it's quick because it's higher level. Bonk. Bonk. I'm tired of slashy slashing. Now there is only bonk. Yes, in order to make scary Spider Valley 2, I can't put I can't put Road Lanterns there because then it would not be Scary Spider Valley. Ah, big mountain. Ooh, that gave me a lot of stuff. I feel like it took me forever to make one of the big mountains last time. Is it just because I knew that I needed to make one that I was able to make it so fast this time? Oh no, it's because I went at double speed, that's why lol. Okay. My HP seems to be doing fine right now. <laughs> I'll just start powling these up. I'm probably gonna spawn another goblin camp at this rate. <laughs> Goblins? Oh, hold on, put this here. Mm. I wonder why they don't tell you that the metals have this kind of interaction, though. It's like, I, I feel like somebody who's not paying attention just would never notice that, like, the meadows become blooming meadows if you put them next to something else. It's only because I'm an epic gamer that I can figure out all, all this stuff on the spot. But not everyone's an epic gamer. Dirk. Goblins must take time to grow their flowers. <laughs> not everyone's an epic You don't have to be an epic gamer. I mean, it's like the same thing in rhythm games too, right? You can't only make your rhythm game charts for epic gamers. You also have to make easy charts for people who aren't epic. Some people just want to have fun. There's nothing wrong with just wanting to have fun. Why are there already like four enemies in this spot? I didn't even do anything and turn into scary slime valley instead. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Yes, a chest is an object. Bonk. Give me stuff! Bonk. Oh wait, this is a mimic? God damn it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright, it's an orange item, so it's probably better, right? Uh, great. Vampire mansion. I want to fight spiders with vampires. That's vampires. Battles on adjacent tiles. I mean, you, you have to put this next to enemy spawning tiles, but then it, like, piles up the enemies so much and it becomes kind of scary. Eh, I guess I'll make this... No, I don't want there to be both ghosts and... Do I? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I survived the entire loop last time. What could possibly go wrong? I'll just quit before the boss. Easy. Mm, man, I want to put these meadows down, but I don't have other tiles to put them next to yet. Whack. Wow, that's a lot of tiles. Bro, where'd you get all this stuff from? Because the rocks seem to be adjacent to other mountains. <laughs> Eek. I'll just put that here and that there then. Yeah, that's probably fine. 
Remember the first time we fought a vampire? They had like a soft story, but then we were just like, now we don't, now we don't care. Every single enemy in this game is like, I could be a good guy, but I'll be a bad guy instead. Yeah, this this will be fine. Wait, what the heck? Why are there two rat wolves there? Whatever. I'm sure this will be a totally. <laughs> The, the, why am I already stacking everything in one place? It's so dangerous. Why am I hitting? Why are there four enemies here? Holy shit. Bonk. Wow, that wolf was loaded. Beacon. Bacon. Finally, I can go fast. Wait. This map doesn't have any good places to put this. Low? Hmm. I mean, the point of the beacons is to eventually cover the whole map up. Evade? What was evading? Some of these enemies are very dodgy. It's very annoying. They just dodge everything. I guess I'll put the beacon here for now because it's coming up. I can get the most use out of it. And I can put metals next to it. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. The road lantern. Bonk! Oh, I want to get these items. Vampirism, that's always good. I already have a little two armor. I almost feel like it's better to just not pay attention and equip the highest level item. It's probably fine. Yeah, this one's better. Yeah, alright, let's go. Look at me, I'm all decked out in all orange items right now. Ballin'. Yeah, give me that item. That's three goblins! Hello, goblins! Oh my god. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, did I just one-shot that? Wait, what? Wait, why did I one-shot it? There's no crit in this game, is there? I mean, at least this character doesn't have crit. I bet some other characters have crit, though. I like how this level 4 ring is worse than the level 3 one. Bonk. Bonk. Here comes a harpy, lol. Mm -hmm. Bonk. Bonk. Oh wait, I have to make Scary Spider Valley. <laughs> I keep trying to make Scary Spider Valley, but they keep... They keep, like, joining up with all the other monsters. Instead of four spiders, I have two spiders, a harpy, and a slime here. Yeah, let's dance. I get one shot, spiders. Oh man, I do a lot of damage. Hello, ghost. Goodbye, ghost. Why am I doing so much damage? Oh, I got one of the new cards. Blood Grove. A living forest. So it has to be next to a forest. And then it eats things when I kill them. Alright, so I might want to put it like here or something. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. So I want to put a forest not on a corner like I have been all this time for some reason. And then put the blood growth would like go here, and then I would need a forest on one of these spots. Yeah, that sounds optimal. Put a growth here, and then put the blood growth here. Ah, so optimal. Bonk. Okay, I don't have any good spots for this. Oh wait, I guess I do. These spiders live next to meadows. They have such a nice life. No, no, no vampires. Oh, yeah. Not a mimic. Ooh, nice items. Hold on, I need to put down this beacon first. Hmm. There aren't really many good places for this. I mean, I guess this is as decent as any other spot. A worthless landmark in a world with no direction, and yet it still helps me move 40% faster. Yeah, so worthless, right? Scimitar. Uh huh. Yeah, this is better. Doot doot doot. Bonk. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. Okay, I have mouse here now. You know what I really want? I want another vault. They give lots of nice stuff. Bonk. 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 Ooh, this is gold. Wait, no. Gold's not that good, is it? 
All right, let's see here. Why is this item worse? Mountain, battlefield. Scary spider valley, let's go. Hmm, I already have a battlefield there. I put one. Spawns a chest, yes. I right, let's put one here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stack the monsters, begins to stack them up aggressively. Oh yeah, let's go! We got scary spider valley here, scary um grove blood grove valley here, and then vampire valley over here. Nothing can possibly go wrong with this arrangement. Ah, nice. Alright. I guess I'm getting a lot more HP because I'm putting all my meadows in good places this time. Ooh, it turned into a ghost. I one-shot the ghost. I one-shot- What the- Wait, 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 wait. Did that ghost just spawn like a triple ghost or something? I couldn't pause fast enough to see. Wait, how- how- how deep does the ghost's inception in this game go? I don't know what it was called. I couldn't pause the game fast enough to look at it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh yeah, let's keep stacking up all these groves. I'm gonna put some um, red lanterns next to them though so I can't fight too many enemies at once here. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. God, I can't... I guess that's fine enough. Right there... And then... Hmm... Another blood grove. I was like, oh, the blood groves can go next to other blood groves? I still don't know what this does, so I really hope it doesn't do anything bad. XD. And before it does something terrible and I just want to die. Alright, let's limit the number of enemies here. Got another meadow. Hmm. I don't want to... Because the meadows are better when you put them adjacent to mm, something else, but the mountains are better when they're adjacent to more mountains. And I don't have any like tiles that aren't meadows for me to put these meadows adjacent to yet, so I feel like it's better to just wait because the three per day is a lot better than two per day. That's 50% more. Battlefield. And I'm like kind of scared to put down the vampires particularly because the vampires are actually pretty ouchies. They always melt a lot of my health. Wait, why is the boss bar already like so far? What the heck? Is it because I'm going at double speed? Hungry Valley. Hungry Grove Valley incoming. Yeah, you know, I haven't actually even been to Hungry Grove Valley yet. Do, 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 do. Bonk. 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 Alright, let's put down... Hmm. I'll put it here. Wait, why did that not turn into a big mountain? I thought a 3x3 three three of rocks and mountains turned into a big one. Maybe there can only be one big mountain per map, maybe? I kind of wish the game would tell you this kind of stuff. I guess I'll just put down my medals there then. Alright, let's go. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I am still slightly confused about the mountain thing though. I can only assume right now that it's because you can only have one big mountain but there might be something else going on there. Why do I do so much damage? And why is the boss bar filling so fast? Last time I was up to like level 6 items dropping by the time I got to the boss. But I'm not... Now it's having a lot of trouble. I guess it's like the small bonuses from each of these items is just... that big of a difference, is it? I don't feel like it would be. Hmm. Oh, great, a treasury. I guess I'll put that here. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Alright, let's beat up the goblins again. Bonk! Oh, it's got Eden. Goodbye! Okay, that one also got Eden. They still drop stuff even after getting Eden, so that's good. And I guess at least this time they didn't turn into any scary monsters. Which... isn't necessarily a good thing. I. I do kind of want to see what the scary monsters look like. 8% evade. 8% evade. I'm not even at max HP right now. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna equip it because it's higher level by two. I don't think that's a good idea, but whatever. Hmm. Living has a soul. Okay, yes, I already knew that. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Is the forest gonna eat the chest? Let's see if it does. Wow, it did eat the chest. Well, it tried to eat the chest, but nothing happened. Alright, let's put down this beacon as well. Ah, god, I can't cover a lot of towels with this. I guess the best I can do is cover, like, three towels around... I can't even cover all of Spooky Spider Valley with this. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I guess I'll just cover these three towels with it. Yeah. This, this spot's better. Because I can put more groves next to it. <laughs> no, I didn't realize this whole time no, 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 that I was covering all of my stats with my body. Hmm. All right, let's go. Bonk. Wait, did the vine just attack me? No, that's the that's just what the rat does. More spiders. More forests. No vampires. Vampire bad. Everything else good. Vampire bad. Me no like vampire. There's a lot of enemies on the field right now. Bonk. Why do I do so much damage right now? I'll equip this. This seems good. Okay, let's fill out this vault, just treasury over here. What the heck? No, I never noticed that the spiders attack like that. Very, uh, very strange way of attacking. Hmm. 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 I think I actually do want more battlefield, but I've already built these areas out pretty intensely. Hmm. Can I replace this? No, I can't. Unfortunate. Do multiple of these stack? Uh, well, from what I've, what I've observed so far, the effects of things usually do not stack. Alright, scary spider valley. Look, they attack by like... Like, opening their, like, sacks and then, like, shooting a thing out of it or something. Why? Spiders are already spooky enough, and then they have to make these spiders, like, extra spooky. Bonk! Okay. More rocks and mountains for my vault. Let's keep going through Scary Spider Valley. Bonk. 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 Oh, I see. That's because my character's class is warrior. That's why they only know how to slash and slash. But I guess if I unlock the rogue and play the rogue, then the rogue would be like stabby stab. Wait, hold on. Is this better? Hmm. Skimitars always seem to have high attack speed on them. I guess that's just what skimitars are like. Hmm. I think this is better. I want a higher level... Actually, I don't know what I want a higher level of. I'll just fill these out. Give me my stuff! That's a lot of stuff. Spooky Spider Valley. <laughs> I'm kind of worried about Spooky Spider Valley. Actually, when there's two of them next to each other, they basically just max out to four spiders per day. It's kind of useless, I guess. Hmm. Why are there two goblins just hanging out there? Let's put these down. Oh wait, the boss is gonna spawn. This is armor. This is tier 5, but it only has two stats on them. And I think I want the vampirism right now. Ooh, another treasury. It's so weird. The treasury starts spawning a lot at near the end of the- Oh! Wait, does this part fill up based on how many cards I place? Oh, I see. That's why it's called map completion. It's not based on how far I walk. Uh, yes, I'm definitely not beating that guy, so I'm just going to end this loop once I get pretty close so I can gather up some a bit more stuff before leaving. Yeah, <laughs> you can't nuke the Lich. That'd be funny if you could, though. Do -do -do. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. 
Oh, mountain. The vampires. Give me stuff. I guess that's stuff. Good enough. Uh huh. I can walk faster just for like two seconds here. Put this here. All right, let's go. You know what would be really sad? If I just died to these like random enemies right here. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm worried anyways. Okay. Okay, put that there. Hmm. I like how the Lich flashes orange. Just, just didn't Lich things. Got a rock. I got a level 5 shield. Not any better than my current one, I think. It doesn't matter because I just want to end the loop so I don't even have to look at these items. That's a lot of goblins. One of them turned into a ghost. Come on. Oh my god, that one turned into a ghost and then I one-shot it. Okay. Guess that's fine. No, you can only use one ring. I think the slots that are open is based on what character class you have and since I'm playing the warrior, only these four slots are available to me. It might also be based on like your town progress. I don't know though. All right, give me stuff. No. That's a lot of stuff. I like getting stuff. And also, well, I guess putting these down doesn't give me stuff, unfortunate. Because I did notice that some kind of tiles do give you stuff the moment you put them down. But these ones don't. Imagine dying right now. What am I going to die to? A single skeleton? All right, I'm pausing the game. So right after this, we're going to retreat. Because there is no way I'm beating the glitch. Yeah, I don't think I'm that much stronger than I was last time. Let's put that down and then leave. Alright, goodbye, we'll fight you later. Retreat, you keep 60%! Okay, so I don't get to keep everything. Only 60%. <laughs> like, the only way to keep 100% is by beating the Lich, I guess. But I mean, I can't beat... I can't beat him. I'm fairly sure I can't beat him. So I'm just gonna retreat and come out with double as much stuff as before. Another success! You've returned and we still remember you. Unbelievable. I mean, I kept 60%. It's better than 30%. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty again, and there's only darkness everywhere I look. I cannot block anything if I am not on the screen. I don't... Hello. I am the hero. Hello. I'm... I don't like floating because it... Well, no, game, come back. I don't like floating because it uses a lot of magic energy, so that's why I need to bring my stool over here with me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the hero is a toaster. Who would have known? That sounds like an LN title. The hero is a toaster. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically, you remember that there are things you have forgotten. We should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy this place up. It's time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen, from cooks to an alchemist, but they all need a place to work. Well, I already gave the cook a place to work. He told me about potatoes. But we can't use materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or stone and you've just found and it's gone. I'm afraid you can only solve only you can solve this problem. The materials that survived your trip always look suitable for building. But these are just stones and splinters. No, they aren't. They're like memory stones or something. How can you build something with how can you build something with them? Curious, eh? I noticed it with the fire you've made. The things you obtain somehow infect everything similar with stability. Toaster has long-term memory loss? No, it's only the, the other people in this world have in this game have long-term memory loss, but not me. I don't. Like literally the whole world just doesn't have object permanence or something. So the moment some living creature stops noticing, stops um like observing something, it just disappears. At least that's what it seems like is happening right now. Only in small amounts, but still something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision. Yes, I'm going to make a wall out of a single branch. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. 
statistics? Hello. Retreats to camp. Max number of loops in a single eight. Right, because the world completion is based on how many tiles you put down, so you could theoretically just keep going around in circles without putting anything down in order to get more stuff from the enemies that you've... from the tiles that you've placed down so far. And then... And then you can... And then you can spawn the boss when you want to, right? Does the world completion bar fill up if I don't place any cards? I have to check that next time. How did your stool float the same way I float? I used my magic divine god of toaster's powers. <laughs> Killed by the lich one, yes. Piece of the world forgotten, five. I guess that means how many times I used oblivion. <clears throat> Metamorphoses, what? What is that? I guess it literally just tells me everything here. Wow. Build. Gymnasium. Herbalist's hut. 4%. 4% is not a lot of HP. He <laughs> used a lot of magic power to make him float, but not his stool. What? Does the boss become stronger from... from the loop bonus? Wait, does he? Is the boss affected by the loop bonus? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe that's why you don't want to spawn the boss too late. But at the same time, if you're only there to farm... No, you have to beat the boss to get 100% of the items. Yeah, so it's still in your best interest to go fast, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Just gotta get stuff. No, I, I want to see what... The, oh man, I don't have enough materials to make that. No, never mind. I wanted to see what the rogue was like. But I don't have enough stuff. Uh -huh. A place where you'll learn how to read, write, and be polite to your teacher. Physical training takes priority. Special traits. You can retreat at the campfire to get 100%. Okay, I see. Yeah, alright. Right, it told me that on the first loop, but I didn't really internalize that because I didn't understand the. Because when it tells you that in the first in the tutorial, like you don't know that dying or retreating elsewhere doesn't give you one hundred percent, so that fact doesn't stick with you, right? So partially, I guess that's a failure of the tutorial. Hmm, unfortunate. I kind of want to see what these special traits are. So I think I will build the gymnasium and cry about adjacency bonuses immediately after. Let's go. Goodbye stuff. Hmm, so that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you just learn it again. That's a nice trick. So basically I'm the only character with object permanence and I just think of something exists. I don't know. <laughs> There's no ill intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. You too could learn a few things though. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Nah, I already know all I need to. L leave learning to the kids. Your first lesson, learn to like learning. That would make life far easier for both of us. Yes, learning is very important. Available supply slots? I guess I don't have the supply thing yet because I have no idea what that is. What the heck are these items? Holy crap, they look fancy, but I don't know what they are. Unlocks the village card. Oh, it's a card. Also unlocks these things. From now on, you will begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Okay. Can resurrect a hero after an upgrade. Passing through the cemetery on expeditions grant you a memory fragment. Interesting. These also require items I don't know. These orb-looking things. They look very fancy. Hmm. Oh, I do have an orb already. Wait, they're actually called orbs? Lol, okay. Orb of Expansion. A physical manifestation of expanding space in the form of a little sphere. So I guess I can even remember concepts and keep them in my inventory. 
Imagine if you could do that in real life. Orb of toasting. <laughs> What does the village do? Heals you and gives you a quest. Quest? What is a quest? I have to remove something though. Blood Grove. Did the Blood Grove do anything for me? May spawn something dreadful from the remains. Because that never happened to me. Maybe I'll remove the vampires because I don't like the vampires. Sure. But uh, actually, actually, <laughs> my voice is starting to hurt a little. So I think I'm going to end the stream here for today. <laughs> Uh, thanks everyone for coming to watch my first play of Loop Hero. It was a very interesting game. Actually has a bit more depth than I was expecting. Um, I feel like this game actually would take a lot longer than I was expecting to beat it for the first time. So I'll think about doing another Loop Hero stream later and so we can unlock more of the features that all these buildings have and see if we can beat the Lich for the first time. Yeah! All right. All right, all right, all right. Mm, nope. Let me just move back to my corner here. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. I'm a Toasty Wosey Roaster who roasts the toast to make Toasty Roasts. In goes bread, Al Pops Toast, that's how Toaster Roasts. Otsu Toasta Sama! Before you go, please wink for me. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, I do know how to wink now, so because I fixed my live 2D. So the reason I couldn't wink last time was actually because I messed up my live 2D. And uh, uh, so so when you're making a live 2D, you have to like rig like each eye, like it checks both of your eyes and then links each eye to one of something on your body, right? So I accidentally linked my left eye to both of the eyes on my live 2D avatar, and so that's why I couldn't wink, because closing one eye would close both of them. But now, I can wink. Come on. Well. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Getting the live... Getting the face tracker to register, this is so hard, holy crap. Eh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Alright. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, I will have another... My, my schedule. I always post them on Tuesdays, right? Because Tuesdays are daily... Or, sorry, are weekly resets. So actually, for next week, I was thinking of doing two streams. Um, as I said earlier, after my debut, I was just like, wow, that's actually really fun. I want to want to do more streams. But then I had to wait an entire week because, because you know, in, in my debut, I was like, uh, I can only do one stream a week because I'm really busy. Well, sometimes that's true, but it's not true right now, probably. In, in before work becomes really busy, like, immediately next week. <laughs> but I, I'm probably going to schedule two or three streams next week. Um, yeah, one of them is going to be Loop Hero. I actually had more fun with Loop Hero than I was expecting, so I'll be happy to play it again. And the other two... Um, I still need to think about it, so it'll be a surprise, yeah. <laughs> three? Yeah, I don't know if I can do three. I, I'm probably just going to increase it to two. Two streams. Two? Two-ster streams? A two-ster, three-ster, four-ster? Yeah, these are all legitimate puns. Hmm. Have you all been praying to me every single day? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Joanne. I just, I'm just finishing up right now. <laughs> Thank you, toaster. Toaster Tuesdays. Primity, you you know why Tuesday is the is the weekly reset? Probably. Do you remember? <laughs> I've been saying my prayers. Thank you. Thank you for praying to the to God of Toasters. It makes me more powerful. Actually, wait, let me take a look at how many That is not the right button. I wonder how many subscribers I have right now.
850. Well, hopefully I can reach 1,000 because I want to mess around with the with the um, the community tab, right? And community tab will well that means you guys don't have to have a Twitter account to see my schedule and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's all for today. Uh, once again, thank you all for coming, and I'm a toaster, the god of toasters. Bye bye.